Good morning, everybody. This is Grady Bias with North Point Yacht Sales, and I am joined today by Josh Emick of Tierra Yachts. Josh is here to chat with us about uh, the Tierra history, a little bit of the background, some of the new fun product that we have coming. Uh, Josh is actually on a whirlwind tour right now, showing off the new Tierra 43 LE, which is something we'll talk about a little bit later. Thanks for joining us, Josh. Uh, thanks for having me, Grady. It's uh, it's fun, man. It's, it's good to get back out there. It's good to show the product off. Uh, it's being really well received. Um, yeah, what a great opportunity. We were uh, just talking before we went live that it's um, a very neat thing that Tierra does for their dealer network. And especially in times that we're experiencing right now, they have organized a way to safely show the new Tierra 43 LE off to the dealer network, to potential clients. And so they're taking the boat up and down the East Coast and continuing to show that they're still producing some of the best boats that are made in the world. Um, certainly the best boats made here in the United States, we like to think. And uh, it's, a, it's a neat product that he's getting to ride around on the East Coast. So um, when, we, when we start this conversation, I want to talk a little bit about some of the background of Tierra. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, built in the United States, right in Michigan. Um, and it's a, a neat family story with uh, a, a history of quality, of purposeful elegance, and of a lot of things that I think a lot of people look for in a boat. So, Josh, why don't you start us with a little bit of the, the background? Yeah, thanks. Um, okay, so a lot of you guys know uh, our company, our founder, Leon Slickers. Um, he uh, began building boats in the 1940s. Uh, so he's been doing this for, for a few minutes at least. Uh, Leon started his own company, uh, Slick Craft, in 1995. Um, shortly after, uh, he began experimenting in fiberglass hull construction. Um, he was one of the pioneers of the fiberglass uh, hulls. Uh, so that, you know, we've been doing this for a while. Um, S2 Yachts was uh, actually founded in 1974. Uh, it was basically, originally, we produced sailboats um, after he sold Slick Craft. Uh, we started building power boats in 1976 under the Tierra Yachts name. So there was a non-compete for a while there with Slick Craft. Um, but the day that the day that we were able to sell power boats, he already had a, a line of Tierras ready to roll and they shipped the day that the non-compete uh, lifted. So that was awesome. Um, today, uh, Tierra Yachts and Tierra Sport um, remains family owned uh, and operated. Three generations of the Slickers family uh, work there with us. Um, let me see. Uh, like Leon, said, you know, oh, Leon's still going to the office every day, right? Uh, he's very. He is, he's going to the office, yeah, maybe not every day, but almost every day. He may take one day off a week, but that's about it. He still comes he's, and he's he works right? all day. Yeah, exactly. Right. He, he works in engineering, um, product development. You know, he's w working on the line. And he's, wor he's always working on everything, quality, and just, he, just trying to keep a good rounded focus. I am, um, I'm building a tier of 30 at LS with some clients right now that live in this area and they decided that they had some family in Michigan. So they wanted to tour the factory and Josh was kind enough to set up that tour. And since he's doing uh, this world War tour right now on the 43 LE, they uh, had the opportunity to actually meet with Leon and Leon sat down and helped them pick out colors for their boat. So it's just, there's not a whole lot of companies like that of any sort where you can speak with the founder and somebody that's willing to spend the time and energy and they care about every boat and every client, which speaks volumes for who Tierra is and what they're trying to do for their client base. Yeah. Yeah. We, we definitely, um, we definitely focus on that and it's all about the clients. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's great. And there's a photo that Lauren's putting up of the factory, although that that's so beautiful that almost looks like a rendering that's what it looks like. That's where you get to go to work and, uh, and build boats every day, which is a neat thing. Yeah. And, and this image is amazing and it looks great. And I would tell you that, you know, driving up, um, it's even grander in scale when you can see the actual size of the whole building. It's, um, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And in this building, um, you know, this was a newer addition, uh, that we did, but we have, uh, we have just, just under a million square feet, uh, under roof for our production facility. And we have uh, about 600 employees. So yeah, and right in the Holland, Michigan area there, there's a, a great history of craftsmen, right? There's uh, a lot of furniture making and craftsmanship in that area. So it has uh, been a, a rich environment for you to find skilled people to help work on these boats. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. We've definitely tapped into the, our local resource pool for that, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is wonderful. Um, 
And Tierra has diversified a little bit over the last few years, right, Josh? We, we now offer a Tierra Sport lineup alongside the Tierra Yachts. And even amongst that lineup, we're diversifying with three different lines inside of the Tierra Sport. There's currently two lines, in, uh, three lines inside of the Tierra Yachts with the Flybridge, the Coupe, and the Open. And then yep. Tierra Sport has the LS, uh, LX, and LE. So walk us through a little bit about the thought process there between essentially those six versions of the Tierra product. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, so if we start with Tierra Yachts, um, our core, uh, you know, we, we, we've, we've been building boats on the Tierra Yachts brand for a long time. Uh, again, since 1976, um, like you had said, we have the opens, the coops and the fly bridges. Um, basically the, the focus of our yachts portfolio, um, is, uh, you know, luxury and board cruising vessels. So, uh, you know, looking at that, um, We've, uh, our long-standing partner, Volvo Penta, um, we, we've partnered with them on many projects. Um, in 2018, we actually built our 100th 44 coupe, um, and that had Volvo IPS propulsion. So, yeah, I mean, we've, we've had uh, a lot of good success with the coupe product. Yeah, Tierra has been very intelligent in the way that they've aligned themselves with groups like Volvo, with Garmin, to help make sure that they are working with the best manufacturers in the industry and streamlining their boats so that everything works together. You know, you get Garmin glass cockpit, full Volvo integration into the boats that are IPS equipped and uh, utilizing that IPS technology. Uh, the boats are sporty, they're efficient, they have long range, uh, and most, most importantly, they take us to the places that we wanna go. Um, there's, there's some beautiful videos that Tierra produces of cruising is at the Northern Channel when Tom went on the 49. Um, yep. It's, it's a neat thing that the, the way that they design the boats really let you live the boating lifestyle. And, you know, we talked a little bit earlier about how much they support clients. It, you know, I, I, that's my fault for using the word client, but it's, uh, it's a relationship that we build with these folks that build and buy boats with us, even down to the brokerage used boats. Uh, and, and they do a, a great job of supplementing the product so that people can have the experiences they want. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Um, you know, I mean, you asked about the, the yachts and the sport, but I think that this is kind of a really good time. I want to read just one thing quick. And this is actually one of our, um, uh, it's, it's basically a document that our CEO, Tom, uh, prepared for everybody at the company. And it's, it's um, I think it's pretty powerful. So I'd just like to read that for you guys. Please. Um, so number one, our commitment is to timeless styling, durability and dependability, and then focus on the product, the performance, and the value. To that end, um, the title here is, it's not merely our craft, it's our calling. So from day one, Tierra has been led by a passion for handcrafted, beautiful boats that can truly, that create truly incredible experiences for captain and guests. It is our conviction that to be the best is not sufficient for that is only a comparison to the standards of others. We set ourselves apart by pursuing the ultimate goal of perfection, both in the products we make and in the entire conduct of our business. So I think that that pretty much sums up a lot of the, like, you know, what we stand for and, and what we're passionate about and what we're, we'll do, what we need to do and what we'll do for our customers. Mm -hmm. And I, I think in my experience, folks look towards these manufacturers and, you know, you view Tierra in this kind of grand scale of this large, boat manufacturer, but in reality, you know, building uh, under 200 boats a year, it's still a one-on-one -on -one interaction. And there's still, you guys know the names of the owners of as the boats go out uh, leaving for the, the, the dealer network. So it's, uh, they carry that philosophy throughout everything they do. And it's impressive to see. Yeah, absolutely. Um, moving on to talk a little bit about some of the sport products, you know, we have the LS, which is the first sport boat that Tierra came out with. Uh, everybody's seen the images of that with the turn style back seat that can turn around 180 degrees. Uh, and then you introduce the LX product, which is the, uh, most folks would relate to that as a dual console, um, but again, done, done like a Tierra, you know, a lot of uh, purposeful elegance, uh, luxury where it makes sense. Uh, and now you have the LE, which the 43 LE is the boat you're running around right now. Talk to us a little bit about that. I know there's some pretty special features on that that Tierra's spent a long time making sure that they have 
uh, thought through and engineered very well. Yeah, uh, well, that's a great picture right there. Um, I mean, that picture speaks right there to the, uh, you know, the powerful performance, um, the timeless design. You know, when you look at the profile of that boat um, from across the harbor, you can tell it's a Tierra. Mm -hmm. um, that's something that we're really passionate about. Um, you know, this, the whole sport line uh, has allowed us to really, 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 uh, uh, you know, get all of the benefits out of outboard propulsion. Um, you know, we, we've maximized the performance and the ride and the handling, and again, all around the outboard propulsion. You know, it's not like we slapped outboards on the back of something that we already made. This is all new, designed from scratch, uh, directly for the outboard product. So, and of yeah, course, I mean, something that maybe we can touch on real quick is that folks see a lot of outboard powered boats, and in this boat, if this had been designed 10 years ago, it would have been either a straight shaft or a Volvo IPS propulsion system. Um, talk just real quick on why outboard power is becoming as popular as it is and why groups like Tierra choose to power their boats with these uh, power plants uh, as, a, as an updated effort. So, you know, I wish I had a really clear answer for you there, Grady. You know, I, I could just say, well, this is exactly why everybody wants outboards. Uh, the truth is, I think that, um, you know, different people like outboards for different reasons. Um, I think the maintenance of an outboard engine, uh, generally speaking, it, it's just less. Uh, you can tilt the engines fully out of the water. Um, you don't have any gear in the water. Uh, that, you know, that's a big deal. Um, on the other side, the performance that we're getting out of these boats uh, with outboard propulsion is, is amazing. And I would say that, you know, there once was a time where cruising at 30 miles an hour, that was great. And now I, I would say that, you know, you wanna cruise at 40 or 45 even, um, you know, you just get to your destination a lot sooner. And uh, time is one of the only things that we can't, we can't get more of, so. And here yeah. on the Chesapeake, um, we have so many great locations that are 45 minutes an hour away if you're cruising at 36 knots, you know. They, so having that speed is very beneficial. And uh, again, on the Chesapeake, this is a, a 43 foot boat and you may say, gosh, that's a lot to have propelled by three outboard motors, but if you're fortunate and you have a waterfront home and you want to be able to keep your boat on your lift, this allows you to have uh, a boat on a lift in a shallower area or just behind your dock in a shallower area. So there's a, there's a lot of benefits to it. Um, and the beauty is Tierra offers inboard boats with Volvo IPS. Uh, the Opens still have some straight shaft boats for a little bit more of the, the history that some of the Tierra owners appreciate. They like split sticking it. Uh, and now we have these offerings. So it's, uh, it's a well-rounded lineup, I'd say. Yeah, yep, I agree. And then, uh, you, you know, like we do offer it on the Volvo IPS uh, with the joystick, but, you know, the, the sport products, you know, they, um, they have a joystick and it's, it's amazing. It, it takes a lot of the anxiety out of boating, coming in and out of the dock. Um, you know, the engine manufacturers have really simplified uh, that process. And like I said, it just takes some of that anxiety out of boating, which is awesome. And this, this 43 LE here, it hits a market that I think is growing and becoming more popular as, as our time becomes more precious. Uh, we want to be able to go boating when we have the time. And this boat allows you to go do what you want. Uh, you can sleep on overnight with uh, two crew quarters or two staterooms very, very comfortably. It's really excellent on deck from an entertainment perspective. Uh, you've got a lot of enclosed seating, a full windshield across the front, a galley up, uh, and then the on the water features like uh, Lauren will show us here, uh, this the teak beach as I call it, um, uh, that you see in the photo right there, the, that just means that this boat's going to be a blast to have on the water. Yeah, uh, the, the terrace, that image shows us, you know, with the terrace down and the uh, the aft chase uh, spun around there. And, it's amazing. I mean, you know, the, the feeling of, of that terrace being down and just looking out over the water, uh, it's great. And then that uh, cross conversational space that that creates with the, uh, you know, the facing seats and, and all that. Um, mm -hmm. It's just a great boat to hang out with family and friends. Uh, the, you know, the thing is awesome. And you can see a, a swim ladder attachment there on the front side of the terrace. Uh, so that that's going to be a great place uh, if you're, you know, diving somewhere in beautiful waters or if you're you know, pulling a, a tuber up onto the boat or just going swimming. It's a very well engineered, well-designed space. 
Yeah, and I'll say just in addition to that ladder location, we also have an, a ladder location directly opposite of that on the starboard side. So if you open the side boarding door there, um, there's a there's a receiver for the ladder there too. So you don't necessarily have to have the terrace down uh, to swim. Uh, it's mm -hmm. just, it, you know, we're just, again, we're trying to provide different options because, you know, different situations, um, you, you may want to use the boat a different way. And so. one unique part about the backside of this boat is there's really three different boarding options. Uh, surrounding the motors, you have wings on both sides. So if you get on board and the uh, starboard boarding door is not open, you still have a very easy access. Uh, if you are at a fixed dock and the tide has gone down a little bit, you do have steps on the sides of the boat. Uh, and then of course you have a boarding door on the starboard side there. So really there's, there's no situation you could find yourself in where you'd have a lot of trouble getting on and off the boat, which is more and more important to folks these days. Right. And, and I'll say um, something that uh, I had an experience with uh, when we had this boat in Holland at our yacht center was I act and I, and I never would have thought that I would have done this, but um, it was actually, we put the terrace down and, you know, tied the lines, uh, you know, nice and tight and correctly, and was able to get that terrace completely, it was just completely level with our dock. Mm -hmm. And there was one foot or less of a gap. And uh, we were able to get, uh, actually, my, my parents' best friends, uh, he has some limi uh, limited mobility. And he was able, we were able to get him on the boat and sit him down. And, and like, we went for a boat ride all afternoon. And it, it was amazing. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought the terrace would have been able to be used for that. And I can tell you that without the terrace, we couldn't have got him on the boat. And so that, even that too, it's just, um, the thing is a home run. I mean, I th you know, I think everybody's going to like this boat. It's great. And uh, this is one of the features that I'm most excited about. Lauren's going to show us through a, a few photos here. You're able to access and walk straight into the helm area uh, behind the seats that you see just to, in the forefront of this image is the galley. And if you wanted to enclose the boat, if you're running in shoulder seasons, look at that. Uh, talk to us about where those doors just came from, Josh. So um, we've kind of had a, and I, I think all of our customers and all of our dealers would agree. I think, you know, everybody kind of has a, a, a love hate relationship with canvas and eyes and glass and, and putting it up and taking it down and where do you store it and zippers and snaps and Velcro and all of the things that's eyes and glass and enclosures. And I think, you know, this boat is not a coupe, right? So, so we, you know, we, our coupes have nice solid glass doors in the back. Um, we wanted to be able to open this thing all the way up. Uh, and to do that, we actually, we partnered with uh, Make Fast, who makes our electric um, sunshades, our aft cockpit sunshades. Mm -hmm. And we worked with them to develop this, basically uh, these two Isinglass doors, they roll up into the sides of the boat. And instead of zippers and canvas and snaps and storage and all that, you simply grab the handles, pull them together, flip the lock, and it's done. It's enclosed, um, just like the image shows. Uh, it's amazing. Um, and and it's a first of its well, kind, a, a development for Tierra, something that I think is, it, it blew me away the first time that I saw it, and I think it's going to really please a lot of people on the water. Yeah, and I'll say another another uh, added benefit of this is when you're actually running the boat at speed, at cruise speed, you know, there, there's uh, inherent noise with running a boat, whether it's engine and water and just, you know, the noise. Um, when you close those doors, even though they're eyes and glass, it is like closing the doors on one of our coupes. It is amazing how quiet it is in the upper cockpit with those doors closed. So that was, I mean, that for me, that was like a wow. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Well, yeah. Folks that cruise with dogs, with kids, just add that much more added security to make this really a, a do anything, go anywhere style boat. Yeah, I completely agree. And there we have uh, uh, the, the mezzanine, as, as you call it, facing aft. Yeah. Working our way through the, the bridge deck here with a drop down TV. Uh, the, the seats swivel to help you join the conversation, which was a really important part of the design process that we as dealers got to give some input on is making sure that those forward facing seats aren't just forward facing seats because having conversation and entertainment flow throughout the boat, is something that we hear is very important to boaters. Yes. Yep, exactly. And then as we touched on earlier, it's a, it's a two state room boat and it's, 
actually a, a very comfortable two state room boat with a very nice uh, head and, uh, and shower space. So I think uh, anybody that gets on board the boat will be quite pleased with it. Yeah, yep. And the, the, like you had just said, the separate shower, that was a big deal. That was one of our design criteria. You know, we, we've, we've talked to a lot of our dealers and a lot of customers and, um, you know, everybody wants a separate shower. Uh, mm -hmm. So, so that was definitely, definitely worked that in. So, and you're, you're doing your best to get this boat uh, around the East coast, despite our very busy hurricane season. Um, and when, when's this 43 LE going to be here in the Annapolis area? Oh, uh, without me literally looking at my schedule really quick. Um, I believe it's October one through four or mm -hmm. September 30th through the fourth of October. So right around very early October, the first few days in October, we'll have it here and available to walk through. Josh will be here. We can uh, take people out on the boat and let them experience firsthand the brand new 43 LE. So that'll be a, a fun few days for us. That also yeah. happens to coincide when uh, the boat show was supposed to be in Annapolis, the power boat show. So that's why we're still making our efforts to do these virtual walkthroughs and let everybody see the boats and then pick and choose the time that's right for you by appointment to come see them in person around the same time that the boat show would have been. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for spending some time walking through the, the 43 with us, talking to us about the, the heritage of the Tierra lineup and the family. It's a, uh, it's a really neat story and something that we're, we're happy to be here talking about and spending time on the boats. I can tell you that in the Chesapeake region, and beyond, we've we've have a lot of happy Tierra owners from 34 LSs all the way up to 53 fly bridges. Uh, it, there's a lot of great things to be found in the Tierra lineup. Great, yeah, we're excited, man. We're excited about the future, and uh, I can't wait to come and see you guys in a week. Huh? So it's going to be great. Wonderful. Thanks for spending some time with us, and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the near future. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you all.